we have to distinguish between President Trump and his administration in that regard. I think that the president himself deserves a very low grade, uh, uh, maybe a barely passing grade of D. He focused almost exclusively on the bilateral trade deficit, uh, refused to take actions uh, against what is taking place in Hong Kong or Xinjiang until the pandemic hit. He weakened U.S. alliances, um, and I think he really doesn't understand strategy. Uh, but his administration, I think, deserves um, at least maybe an A minus for correctly assessing the challenges and the threats that China poses uh, to the United States. And uh, maybe in terms of a policy response, a somewhat lower grade, uh, because I don't think that the policies themselves have been very effective in uh, changing China's behavior. President Trump gets high marks in my book for handling China. Because what he did was he ditched five decades of engagement policy, where it was the policy of the U.S. to support the Communist Party. Well, that's out. He's now dealing with them transactionally, and he's imposing costs. And that's important, because if we want to move China in a better direction, um, we're going to have to give them incentives. And the idea that we just sort of help and help and help them, uh, that doesn't work. This is an important shift in the way we Americans think about this. And this was caused by President Trump. Well, if you need an actual letter grade, um, as a professor, I'd probably give him uh, a B or a B minus. I think he does get credit, you know, as students do just for showing up. Um, he did uh, say that we are in a great power competition with China and he started attempting to compete with China. So I think he deserves credit for that. The problem is I think he then tried to compete in very ineffective and counterproductive ways. Well, I think it's a failure. Um, by any measure, it's a failure. Now, people will say at least Trump finally got tough with China. We needed to get tough with China. And, you know, OK, well, we're headed in that direction anyway. Once Xi Jinping came into office, uh, we have seen a steady uh, number of a growing number of friction points and conflict points between our society. So toughness was going to be naturally coming under any president. But Trump set out to right the trade imbalance, impose tariffs. These have had a completely counterproductive effect on our economy. And I could go down a long list of other areas as well in foreign policy, uh, technology policy and the like. But that's just an example of, of where I think he's failed. <laughs>